Welcome back as we study uh, today about loving God and today specifically we are going to look at uh, uh, the fact that to love God is to know Him or rather to know Him is to love Him. The scribe came and asked Jesus, asked the Lord Jesus that question, you know, uh, what is the great commandment? And the Lord answered that you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and with all your mind. Uh, 1 John 4 and verses 7 and 8 says, verse 7, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. We learn a few things here. Verse 7, that God is the source of love. God is love. Verse 8, we see that love is the very nature of God, that God is love. When we read verses 7 and 8 together, we see that there is a connection between knowing God and loving God. So, he who does not love does not know God, verse 8 says. Verse 7, everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. So, if I want to truly love the Lord my God, then I need to spend some time to get to know God and I need to make every effort to know Him more. Now, when it comes to relating to people, we have different categories of how we relate to people. You know, we might have, we might, uh, you know, the first ca category could be strangers, people whom we do not know. We don't know anything about them and maybe they look familiar. Maybe we run into them every now and then, but they are practically strangers. We don't know anything about them. And they, then we could have acquaintances, meaning uh, it could be colleagues, it could be some students in the place of uh, uh, where we study. Um, it could even be our, our, our neighbors and we know some information about them, they know some information about us and that, that's it, it does not go deeper than that. Then we could have friends. We know a lot more about friends. We spend time with friends and they spend time with us and they also know uh, a lot of information about us. And, and then we have some close friends or confidant uh, whom we trust. And there's a greater level of transparency, there is mutual respect. In fact, there is a close-knit relationship. It could be our spouse, it could be a close friend, and so on. So, um, the, Paul, uh, the Apostle Paul in, Elif uh, in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 10, he says, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death. So he says, after all that journeying with God, he says that I may know him. Uh, out of that great love for God, he says I, that I may know him. In John chapter 15 and verse 5, we see that the Lord is saying that he is the vine and we are the branches. And he says, he who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. And without me, you can do nothing. So the Lord is inviting us to this kind of a vine and branch relationship. In getting to know Him, what is in the vine begins to flow in the branch. What is in Him begins to flow in us. The branches abide in the vine, so we stay in the vine. There is a close relationship. There is a closeness, there is a connection, and we bear fruit because we are connected to the vine. So the question, and the effort that we need to make is to, to be in His presence, to get to know Him, to worship Him, to open our lives to Him. And as He opens His life, His thoughts, His revelation, and as He pours that out to us. So we begin to understand God, we begin to know Him. And to know Him is to love Him. Without knowing Him, we cannot love Him fully. Let's pray as we invite God and as we ask Him to reveal more of Himself to us. Father, we thank You for this time in Your presence. Lord, we pray that You would reveal Yourself to us. And even as we get to know You, Lord, we pray, God, that we'll be able to love You more, even as we know Your heart, know Your character, and know more about You, God. Enable us, empower us to love You more. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.